Hi, I'm Lou Perosi, and this is the second part of making an altered form. If you remember earlier, I sort of made a shape that was similar to this. I allowed it to stiffen up just a little bit before leather hard, and now I'm gonna be able to go ahead and cut and dart this piece. If we look at these pieces, now I didn't make these. These were made by Kyle Johns, who was a, a former student here, and he's went off uh, and he's a professor himself. But this is using the same sort of technique that we're seeing. This was thrown on the potter's wheel, okay? Um, and you get this really interesting shape. As well as this teapot, we can take a look at this one using these same sort of techniques of cutting and darting, okay? All right, so, the one thing I didn't show you um, earlier was that I had thrown a slab. Um, I think you guys probably know how to go about doing that. But here's the slab that I threw earlier. Now you'll notice it's pretty thick, right? So if we just check this out, it's uh, not leather hard, but it's still a little, um, it's a little bit uh, wet, but it's still good. It holds its shape pretty well. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and get my wedging board. And I wanna stretch this out just a little bit. So I'll just take this. See how we already just changed the shape? Keep stretching this just a little bit. All right. <clears throat> All right, so once we got this, put this guy aside. Now we're gonna go ahead and start working with this. Now it's not a bad idea. Now I have made one of these for a very long time, so I'm gonna just see how this works out. Um, but it's not a bad idea when we first get started, if we go ahead and take a look at the shape, we take a look at the shape that we've made, all right? Which in my particular case, it's gonna be something like, like this, all right? And then start to think, okay, if I cut a shape out, if I cut that off, all right, and maybe I cut this off, and then maybe I put a picture here, or I put a handle here, I can start to create shape. Okay, does that make sense? So, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this back section off, all right? So I'm gonna go over here, and I, I have to decide. It's a little heavier on the bottom, but I think I'm gonna go this way. So, um, looking at this shape, probably going to need to cut something like this all right so relatively triangle shape and we're going to see what happens so i'm going to take it i'm going to get down at eye level all right i'm going to create sort of a triangle try to get it in best i can so i've done that all right and then i'm going to go ahead and cut that out Take my knife. Don't poke myself in the eye, right? That's always a good thing. Right. And then we're just gonna remove that. Okay. And I think I actually wanna be even a little bit more aggressive judging, but you guys can kind of see, right? Let's go a little bit more aggressive. You could use a, uh, let's see. Boy, that S12, I use that for everything. It's gotta be in here somewhere. Let's see. Uh, it's a little closer. I guess I didn't bring it over, that's okay. Maybe I can use my sponge on the stick. Actually, I'll just visually do this. So again, line it up. Take that. Okay, that should be good. All right, so I got this pretty good size cut in the back. 
okay? At this point, I'm gonna get my Sumi brush and my needle tool, and I'm just gonna go ahead and slip and score this. So I'm gonna add some water. Now when you slip and score, the key really isn't just, hey, I'm gonna make a bunch of lines. I don't really think of it in terms of that. I actually think of it in terms of like, I'm making these little canals in which uh, water is gonna kind of sit in there. And it's gonna make that clay like margarine, okay? There's a couple things you can't ever do when you're doing ceramics. One is fake slipping and scoring. You fake slipping and scoring, you're gonna lose your handle, things are gonna break. So you always wanna make sure you, you go over this really well, okay? And I think I'm, I'm doing okay, all right? We've got a pretty decent slipping and scoring job. All right, I don't wanna fake it, right? Okay, so I got, a, got that so far, okay? Maybe I'll hit it once with a little bit of water on the inside. Okay, and now I'm just gonna bring those two parts together. Okay, so I'm gonna take my hand and I'm just going to, you see I'm, and then just like a tailor. Now there's a guy by the name of Jeff Ostrike that does these beautiful beaker pitchers um, that use a technique very similar to this. Uh, and I, there's some stuff on wet, on the website, you know, on YouTube that you can see where he's making these forms. They're just gorgeous. I have, actually have one of his pieces. I really just, I really love it, okay? All right, now look at how we've created that, right? Now, um, I'm gonna show you guys another little trick. I don't wanna use this, let's see. But, if you really wanna get your, whatever decision you're gonna be going with, if you want to make sure that it's uh, symmetrical, there's an easy trick for that. You take a piece of paper, you fold it in half, Okay, and then you simply cut what you want, all right? And then you could just, now I'm not gonna do this, because that's gonna be way too much. But do you see how I can get everything symmetrical on each side? All right. Actually, we could go with that. That's maybe a little, little, little too much. So let's go down just a little bit. Yeah, that'll be kind of interesting. Okay, and again, you could you could just play with this technique. Once I've done that, um, I'm just going to simply trace that. Nope, oh, we don't want to throw that away. I feel like this is going to be a little too wide for me. I'm just going to wing this. All right, let's see. That's pretty good. All right. So now I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to go ahead and cut this. Clean up those lines. All right, and so now, okay, we're gonna slip and score this. Now, if you feel like it's gonna crack or bend, uh, you just want to go ahead and. Uh, you just wanna go ahead and add a little bit of water. We can always soften water. And you also see your seam on the inside. You're just gonna to wanna to put your hand in there and just close, fix all that up, right? We don't want any looseness here, right? Just want it nice and clean. Okay, 
All right, let me go ahead and slip and score this. You could probably even use that over there, right? Um, okay, so let's give it a little, little dabbly do here. If you got one of those fancy uh, tools where you got like multiple points, those are really great. I love those for slipping and scoring. Okay. Now this side's a little bit softer than uh, the other side, so. So I think we're gonna be okay. Okay, can everybody see that? All right, this is what we got, right? Okay, I'm gonna do the same technique. I'm gonna bring these guys, these two guys together. This is definitely an area where the reading glasses would come in handy, I think. Okay. All right. And you see, I'm just pinching and, and then we can go ahead and clean that up with our sponge, right? All right. Uh, let's see, we got the rubber rib. Um, I love these rubber ribs for this, for this job uh, as well. Cause look at how nice, these ones from Mud Tool, these are beautiful, okay? Look at how nice that looks, okay? How's that look so far, right? Not, not half bad, right? Okay, so let's straighten this guy out. Now we gotta make this spout. So we can decide what we wanna do. I'm probably gonna need to clean this, reshape this just a little bit. That's what we're talking about right now. Okay. And I'm going to do the paper thing. Because this, I think, is going to be good. But I think I want a little bit smaller. Everybody follow me so far? I might want to just steal it from here. Okay, so we're just going to take that slab we made earlier that's going to be used for our bottom. Uh, whoop. And I can put this guy over here, right? I can set that bottom. So I got plenty. I got plenty here. So I'm going to go ahead and take that. This slab, I probably threw it way too thick. Um, but that's okay. I mean, every you know, it's just way too thick. All right. Here it is. Okay, and then I'm gonna do the same thing I just did earlier. Probably just. Um, well, you know what? I could just pinch this. I get this. You see, I'm just sort of softening these edges, getting that basic shape together. Oh, this is gonna be nice. So we wanna make sure we get this. Look, 
guy who hasn't made something like this in like five years. This isn't too bad. You guys liking that? Mm -hmm. Good, right? So we're just gonna keep working this over until we get that perfect shape. Okay, I think that's gonna be and the key is to just make sure it's nice and soft. Okay? Nice and soft. Okay, all right. Oh yeah, there we go. I think that's gonna be good. See that? Can we see the side profile of that? I think that's gonna be slick. So, uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna just line, make sure, you, you gotta always make sure you put your spout on straight. That's, that could be a bad thing, <laughs> all right? And trust me, I've done it done that okay so we're just gonna kind of figure out exactly where we need to go and what we need to take off so I'm kind of lining everything up all right so if we look we can see where I want to cut for that pitcher water to come and what I need to slip and score right so we're gonna go ahead and take our fettling knife again and we're gonna just work that all right, Oop. so we got that, okay. We're gonna try this. Oh yeah, that's gonna be nice, you see? So that can work out just like that. All right. So we're gonna go ahead and slip and score. We're getting there, all right. Love these Sumi brushes, I gotta tell you. All right, now we're gonna get down here, give this a little. A little bit of a pizzazz, a little work over. Again, you, you don't want to go this far and not fake, fake slipping and scoring, right? We want to make sure that spout stays on there. All right, so just... The nice thing about one clays like this, as long as you keep it a little bit wet, you know, it's pretty workable. Yeah. All right. Yeah, we're getting there. I'll really be excited to see what you guys have. Do the same thing for this so we'll figure out before I put on I also like the slip and score the inside so I know exactly what part of my spout I also need to slip and score so that's all marked okay you don't want to just throw that slab up there and hope for the best right so we're gonna just get in there we'll do a little bit of slipping and scoring All right, now I'm just gonna go ahead and press that in. Make sure I'm lining it up properly. All right, and now I'm gonna just push it in. We're gonna pinch it in from the inside as well. And the sponge can do a lot of stuff right here. Okay. Now I'm just working fast, but I'm clearly as you guys move along, you can, you can take your time, get it all perfect, right? Ooh, look at that, huh? How's that looking so far? 
It's like a penguin or something. <laughs> okay. All right. Now we got that. We're good. Uh, we're going to take this, we're going to put this guy on here. Again, you want to make sure your guy's all straight. And I'm just going to go ahead and uh, line that up. Okay. That tells me exactly, again, where I need to slip and score. It's a lot of slipping and scoring going on here. Okay. This is where the fork would become probably nice. And when you slip and score for this bottom, just remember you want to stay with inside the ring. All right. Got any extra clay I just want to get rid of so that this isn't super heavy. It's a little heavier than I like, but it's not bad. It's not bad that we've just kind of get in there. And I can clean all this up later too, right? So all these sort of hand marks. Okay. And might as well do all my compressions right now while my hands are, can get in there. I'm going to just slip and score the bottom here. Oh, I did break the fork. All right. Gonna give it a good compression down. Okay. If I can get my hand in there, get my sponge on the stick in there, maybe just clean that up a little bit. Okay. Make sure this guy's all straight. Nobody wants a broken, lopsided vase, which is pretty straight. Okay, now I'm just gonna go ahead and cut that. Save that for rainy day, I always like to say. All right, just keep that off. So far, 
Now here comes the fun part. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and make a handle. Keep cleaning this up though. Right here. This line's driving me nuts, so let's clean this guy up, right? Hmm. that handle now that's the nice thing about this is we have really we've got this area for this beautiful handle to go right we've created that negative space there Okay, so we'll put the handle on next time. Thank you, Lou. Sure.